myself Sarkik. So today I am going to present a model on layers of earth. So this is my model. This is the hydrosphere, the ocean. And this is the lithosphere, the land. And this is the volcano, the active volcano. And this is the volcanic arc. So what is volcanic So a volcanic arc is any volcanoes in a line is usually called volcano. So, as we go down, this is the continental crust, which is the crust in the next, in the down of the continent or the land. And if we dig from the ocean, this is the oceanic crust. And as we go down, we reach the mantle. And mantle is the biggest plate. So, this is the asthenosphere. It is one of the main layers which is located in the upper mantle. And as we go down, we reach the outer core which contains many minerals such as nickel and iron. And as we go to the center, this is the inner core. So no one can reach here because it has a very high temperature. And many people tell that Inside the inner core, there are many minerals and particles. So, also the crust is one of the main layer because most organisms are found in the crust. So, now I am going to explain volcano. So, the layers which are crust, mantle, core. So, the heat generated from these three layers come towards the volcano and inside the volcano so from that heat the magma starts heating and uh, as it heats more and more the bubbles of gases start generating and that gases come to oxygen and settle so the heat reaches to it its end point and the volcano cannot I had presented about my model so now I am going to present layers of earth deep introduction layers of the earth layers of earth what are layers layers are physical and chemical mixtures of solid or liquid particles to complete the planet there are six layers of earth they are the lithosphere the crust asthenosphere, mantle, outer core and inner core. But the main layers are crust, mantle and core. Lithosphere As we all know that lithosphere is one of the domains of earth. Domains of earth include lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, etc. It is the solid crust or hard top layer of earth made of rocks and minerals also covered by a thin layer of soil. It also contains irregular surfaces such as plateaus, mountains, plains, valleys and volcanoes. It also has water bodies such as oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, etc. Crust the uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called crust. It's the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 40 kilometers long. Most of the organisms in our planet exist till this layer only. Asthenosphere The asthenosphere is the highly viscous, mechanically weak and ductile region of the upper mantle of earth. It lies below the lithosphere at depths between approximately 80 and 200 kilometers below the surface. It's one of the main layer of the earth. It is responsible to create new earth crust means new lands will be produced. 
This occurs in ocean ridges where convection pushes the asthenosphere to the surface. Mantle Mantle, second layer of the earth. It is the longest layer of the earth which extends up to a depth of 2,900 km below the crust. The mantle is divided as upper mantle and lower mantle. Mantle is the layer containing the asthenosphere and silicates such as olivine, garnet and pyroxene. Also elements such as iron, aluminum, calcium, potassium and sodium. Core It is the innermost layer of the earth with a radius of about 3500 km. Core is divided as outer and inner core. Outer core is 2200 km thick. Contains nickel and iron, which we say as knife. Inner core is the last layer and the center of the earth containing very high temperature. It is said to be all the main particles and all the minerals are found in this layer only. But no one can reach there. Continental crust Continental crust is the layer of igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks that forms the geological continents and the areas of shallow seabed close to their shores known as continental shelves. The main minerals that are found in continental crust are silica and aluminia which we say as CL. Oceanic crust the oceanic crust is the uppermost layer of the oceanic portion of a tectonic plate. It is composed of the upper oceanic crust with pillow lavas and a dike complex and the lower oceanic crust composed of troctolite, gabbro and ultramafic cumulates. The main minerals that are found in oceanic crust are silica and magnesium. Together we see as Sima. Thank you.